JFK Jr. claims we are facing autism epidemic. He's using latest CDC report to sound the alarm. But actual science shows something completely different. Autism is not like any other disease that can spread like a fire. You can't catch being autistic any more than you can catch being seven feet tall. It is just normal variation of human development, just like being tall or having high IQ. In other words, it just follows normal statistical distribution like height or intelligence. The rates of autism have been steadily climbing since it was introduced in 1980. Before the 2000s, it was about 1%, then it was 2%, and now it's close to 3% average, and in California, it's actually 5%. This statistics a panic among ignorant people like JFK Jr. who doesn't understand science, who thinks that something must be terribly wrong that the diagnosis is climbing. But if you realize that the diagnostic criteria expanded dramatically since 1980s, then you see that it is about recognition, not some mysterious epidemic. If it's not a disease or infection, what is it? Well, it is a normal variation of human development, different, not broken. It is a variation in human interaction, social cues, and how we see the world. And like any other human trait, it is a spectrum, sometimes more pronounced than others. Here's a fresh idea. If autism is a normal human trait, it should distribute normally among population just like height and form a bell curve, where about 70% of us cluster together in the middle, and then about 15% on each side our outliers go to infinity. If you follow me, you realize that the real rate actually should be 15%. And the real mystery is why are we crying out loud about increase to 3% where in reality we should be looking for missing 12. 